Okay, this week we're going to talk about glutes. Um, I didn't get a specific request, so if you ever want a video making just for you, just comment uh, and I'll put something together for you. I did get a request to make sure my hair and makeup was done by Toby from Salisbury Lifestyle Studio, so I hope that's all right for you, Tobes. Um, but yeah, we're going to do glutes, and I'll tell you why. This week I've seen, you know, I've got loads of glute videos. There's somewhere up here, somewhere there'll be an icon, and you can bring up all my glute videos. Okay, but what I've seen a lot of is people coming in and saying, "Have you done your glute exercises? Have you done your glute exercises?" No, I've been so busy. I've been busy. Didn't get a chance. And I get that 100%. 100% get that. Life is hectic. You know, I've got kids. I've got a business. I want to run. You know, all this stuff going on. So I want to show you. I'm not just going to tell you. I'm going to show you in real time how I get my glute exercise in on top of everything else, okay? So if we take a typical day for me, I'm up at 10 to six, I get my wife's lunch ready, I get her together and then she leaves for work at seven. Then the kids are up and I sort all their school stuff out and then get them on the bus and get their lunches done and get them off to school. And then I go for a run and then I get back and then I shower and I've got to set up and then I start work and then I finish about nine at night and then I sit down. But I get my glute exercise in. And how? Because I do it when I'm doing something else. And that's the best way, if you're strapped for time, maximise that dead time when you're doing something else by doing your exercise then. Then you're not setting aside time. That's enough waffle. Let me show you in real time how I get my glute exercises in. Okay, so here we are in my kitchen, and this is how a morning would go. What, I'm going, what I've got is a exercise band. You can do it without, it'll still, you'll still have an effect without, you'll just have more of an effect with, it's completely up to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it around my ankles, okay? Because some exercises you think, well, shouldn't you have that above your knees? Maybe, probably, but this is a quick strengthening exercise routine while you're working. And you don't want to be faffing about with things like that, you just want to do things you can do as you're going, okay? So that's start. What's the first thing any normal human being does? when they come into their kitchen in the morning, apart from put a band around their ankles, because everyone does that. Yeah, we put the kettle on. So I'm gonna put the kettle on. Once the kettle's on, I'll show you, but on my left leg, I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna push my heel into the floor, I'm gonna squeeze my quad to lock my knee, I'm gonna squeeze my glute, and then I'm gonna bring my leg. So think this, to the sides glute medius, to the backs glute max, so if I go 45 degrees, I'm getting a bit of both maximizing my time now these three sets of 12 i'm going to try and beat the kettle so off we go squeezing the glutes all the time and quite rapidly i'm trying to speak over the kettle as well i'm going to try and knock out 12 i've already lost count so it's say 10 11 12 and then switch leg one two three four six and what you'll feel 12 is the leg which is stabilizing that glute is farthing to hold you isometrically i keep losing count so i'm talking this that's twelve. yeah so you feel it in the leg you're standing on more then i think that's doing the work but as you're doing the sets everything starts to burn try to keep your hands on your hips and your hips push forward i don't i can't count and talk so there we go and i just keep going to the kettle's body you hope it's three sets, but sometimes it's more and it's a basket. Okay, we've probably got one more in here. What else do you do on the kettle boils? Not a lot. So why not work your glutes? Okay. If I get anything out of a cupboard, right? You don't just get something out of a cupboard, yeah? You go into a squat, come up, squeeze your glutes, push through. Grab your mug. Need a tea bag? Yep. I know it's like two. There's two more than did before. Pour the water in. Okay. Now, what happens next? We need to let the tea bag brew, don't we? Yeah. We need to let that brew. So what do we do while it's brewing? Stand on the left leg. Push your heel in the floor, squeeze your quad, squeeze your glutes, and push through your big toe, yeah? And just hover, hover your right leg. It's just hovering off the floor for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, 
bring your leg out to the front. Let me come back so you can see better. Bring your leg forward, okay? And now we're, we're, we're working on this leg. So we're really, the trip extension, heel down, quad squeeze, glute tight, holding for 10 seconds to the front. Then after 10, bring it out to the side, side and back a bit, side and back a bit. Hold it for 10 seconds. After you've just done those reps, this really burns this hip up. 10 of that, swing your leg round and back and hold for 10 there. Okay, let me show you from a different angle. Onto the other leg, so right leg, heel down, squeeze your quad, squeeze your glute, hover your left foot, just hover. And then eight, nine, 10, and then bring the foot forward. And really, you know, you bring the foot forward, but this leg, you're, you're fighting back against it, you're squeezing your glutes and your quads, fight back against it for that 10 seconds. And then you're gonna bring it out to the side. Try and not let your foot touch the floor at any point. And then bring it in and bring it behind you. Okay, it gets you. Oops, you hold. And that's 10 seconds. So that pee bags brood. So I do milk. I'm not just going to go to the fridge. I'm going to crab walk against the resistance on my band. Yeah. Neighbours probably think I'm mental. I don't care. Because what's it matter what your neighbours think? Hey, really. So there we go. Put the milk in. The secret as well. If you need two things from the fridge, you do two trips. Yeah, don't cheat and grab them both. And look away. And back. Okay. And that's a cup of tea. And now we need to make lunch. So bread, sidestep. Yeah. Get your bread. And just squat because you went into a cupboard. Don't forget your squats. Side step over. Now, before I start the sun, my sandwich, I'm going to go back and now I'm going to do two sets of 12. Okay, of the same exercise. So I squeeze my leg and bring it back. See how quick it is? So I'm getting the beat on. 12. Push through your hips. Well, don't let any flexion creep in. So try almost try and almost like bone yourself. And again. That's 12. Right, need some cheese. See? And crab walking. And yeah, crab walking probably above the knee would be better, but I've got kids to feed. I don't have time. But I'm working, everything, while I'm going. Need a knife. There it is. Cut my cheese. This is my best period, really. Done the cheese. And then stand on the right leg. Hold for 10 seconds. Squeeze the glutes, push the heel down, squeeze the quad, push through at the hips. 10 seconds. At this point, you know, you're gonna know your glutes are there. Bring the leg to the front. 10 seconds, oh, so you're starting to wobble a little bit. Good, and then out to the side. And then, you know, this, is, this can be done any time. You know, you're just cooking dinner. Well, not any time, any time you're in the kitchen, really. Couldn't do it in town park, look a bit mental, and there's no kettle, so it doesn't help. Yeah. Good, and then to the other side. But what I could do before I do the other side, yeah, because I'm, I'm wasting time there, aren't I? So I need to get to the there. Okay. Here we go. So now I do the left leg while I'm finishing off the sandwich. So 10 seconds stood on one leg. Squeeze the boots, keep the hips pushed forward. And I'll do 
Mais pas ça, pas. Good. And then that's the side. You know how time effective this is? Turn to the back. Yeah? What would you normally do then? You'd just be stood here putting hands between two bits of bread. Yeah? But now I'm doing a glute exercise and 10, and that's done. So, what else would you have? Maybe some onion. Let's go get some onion. Notice how I didn't bring the hand, even though I'm done with it, because that's a cheap trip otherwise, isn't it? It may add three minutes or so. What can I do? I can stand on my leg. It may add three minutes or so while you're making them because you've done a couple extra trips. So it's not 10 minutes out. So you have there for 10 seconds. So you just, you just modify it. Good. Okay. Put the onion away. You're getting the idea, aren't you? Yeah. And it's not, you know, you don't have to do this. But you get the idea. This is how you can work your glutes. Get everything strong and far enough. So this is good for you, so I'm going for a run in a minute, so that's, this is good for me. I'm going to be running. Right, I'm using 10 So I'm going to do the same one, now I'm going to do one set 12 while I'm at my sandwich. Let's go. And then the other leg. Sandwich done. Cheese away. What would I do next? I'd make a food salad. Yeah, so I'll get an apple, chop it up, put it in a tub. Go and get some grapes, bring it back, chop them up, put them in the tub. While I'm chopping, I'll be doing the holding ones. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, yeah? And then cascading these down. As we go, all right. I think that's enough. Okay, I'm not gonna. There's only so much you can take of watching a man make someone a, a packed lunch, you know, but I think that's enough for you to get the idea. So that's how you can maximise your time. You know, I made a cup of tea and a sandwich there while working my glutes out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you like it, subscribe. New videos every every Sunday. If you want a video making, message me, comment and I'll endeavour to get that done to you. Enjoy the rest of your day.